Greetings, Mr. Bobby. Greetings, Mr. Needy Fuller. Um, Good morning, sir. My question, Needy Fuller, is um, there was a um, a black male who was ejected from a hospital with his bladder bag and tubes still attached to him, left on a um, street corner, essentially. Uh, what can this incident teach us about the system of white supremacy? Well, business as usual. That's the answer. You're in a prison camp. In a prison camp, nothing that is favorable to the prisoners is supposed to ever happen. If you get a little break about this and that and the other, if you just study prison movies, I always recommend Shawshank Redemption as a movie that people can study over and over again. It's shown over and over again. There's a lot of lessons in that movie if you compare it to the system of white supremacy as a prison system. Uh, the movie Shawshank Redemption is about a prison called Shawshank. That's the name of the prison. And how a prisoner who was in that prison was redeemed, meaning he got a little payoff by knowing how, to, first of all, that he was in a prison system. That's the first thing you have to realize. Most black people don't think that. Most black people have no idea that they are born in a prison. And a prison has a prison master. And if you're a person of color on planet Earth, you are born in a prison with a prison master, and all of those masters are classified as people who have white skins. Not all of them are prison masters, but those who are are far more powerful than those who aren't. And they are called white supremacists. And you keep that in mind from the time that you get up in every morning. You should realize where you are in a prison until you go to bed at night. And then when you wake up the next morning, you're going to be in the same prison until what? Until the system of white supremacy is eradicated and replaced by a system of justice. That should be how you use your mind with every waking moment as a victim of a system that never should have existed in the first place. But the first order of business. But understand, every day, you're talking about this person being discharged and would not being thrown out in the street. Expect every black person to be herded out and shot, including yourself. I mean, in the next 15 minutes, for someone to come knocking on the door, if you're behind the door, and four or five people come in, and they take you out, and you say, what's going on? What's going on? And nobody's answering you. And they take, if it's a street out in front of wherever you are, they take you out in the middle of that street, form a firing squad, and shoot you to pieces. And then get in a truck and roll off and leave you there. You should expect that to happen right this minute. Absolutely. Because that's the kind of world that you're in. 